Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about my 2018 goals and my new 2019 goals for yarn stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, first, I want to say the word goals. A lot of people have been switching over to using the words intentions, which is fine. But, um, because you know you're intending to do something. <laughs> but goals also, I think, works fine as the word goals because the whole meaning of goals is to have something that you're aiming for not necessarily achieving it's something that you strive towards you know you can look up the definition if you want but it's it's basically to aim for you know a specific thing so that's the whole point of a goal is to set a a mark and then try to work towards it so goals and intentions kind of work interchangeably so don't be afraid to use either or my 2018 goals video was kind of boring and it was because I did a tag and it was kind of you know I didn't actually do a goals video I didn't speak a lot about the things I wanted to do last year and because I didn't even think about them I didn't accomplish many of them but that's okay so I only pulled a few from there I got it on my laptop right here one of them is my first one was to finish the grease corner to corner which I didn't do at all I frogged it actually I frogged the bit that I was working on and then I kept a couple of the squares to eventually make a pillow out of but I won't be doing that anytime soon because I have to get a big old pillow form <laughs> and I don't want to do that right now but uh, the reason I frogged that is because I found out that I don't like doing corner to corner that much especially in a large scale I don't mind corner to corner at all when it's just the same yarn using it back and forth but when there's a lot of color changes I just didn't enjoy it at all so I decided not to do it if I don't enjoy it I'm not gonna do it but um I will probably do more corner to corners as a matter of fact there's one I want to do this year for Christmas but it's gonna be a lot smaller than that blanket would have been and hopefully a lot easier my um, one of my other goals from last year was to use up random yarns like the variegated yarns and the cakes and stuff and I have been doing that pretty good I've actually you know I've been working on that this week with you know the cowl that I showed y'all and uh, this baby blanket that I've made and all that and there's more yarns over here that I've got ideas for and uh, that's actually a goal I'm going to carry into 2019. I want to use up all that weird yarn that's been sitting there forever so that I have more room for yarn I'm actually going to use. And uh, try not to buy so much weird yarn that's just going to sit around for a year. Uh, and, and the two other goals from last year that I brought into 2019, or that I accomplished last year, because I don't really need to do it again. I've already done it. But it was to learn how to interface bags and how to put zippers in. I've done both of those uh, pretty well, I think. You know, I've... I, I learned it and I got good at it and then I started making and selling project bags so um, that's definitely a check check so I guess I did out of the um, four goals I mentioned from last year I accomplished two and a half of them because <laughs> I did learn how to interface bags and I did learn how to put zippers in and I did use up a lot of that weird yarn not all of it though so that's only half finished then then the goal I didn't do was finishing the corner to corner but I wasn't enjoying it. I'm not going to waste my time on something I'm not enjoying. So now on to goals from 2019. Now I've been watching everybody else's podcasts um, about their goals because I was wanting to try to get ideas. And I do have a few uh, particular goals, like certain things I actually want to make this year and then some just random ones. So I'm just going to start top of my list and work my way down and then I can go back in a few months, probably quarterly, and see how I'm doing. <laughs> So the first one is I want to make the Grinch Miss Throw, which is a corner to corner. I'll pop up a picture if I can find one of the Grinch. <laughs> I've been wanting to make this for like two years and I've just never done it, but I want to make it this year. However, I'm on a temporary yarn ban and I'll talk about that here in just a minute. So I can't buy the yarn to make it yet. I'm not going to be on a yarn ban all year. I'm just on it until we reach some of our goals here at the house financially and all that. We, we have some savings goals that we want to reach in the first half of this year. So um, I could probably get that yarn later this year unless someone gives it to me or something because that's one of my stipulations on my yarn ban. But um, so I want to make that and I want to make the Christmas countdown that I was gifted last year. I want to make that because I thought that'd be really fun for Jesse especially since he'll be three and a half this next coming Christmas. So he'll be more into the whole Christmas and Santa Claus thing and all that. And I could put little candies and little like Hot Wheels because he loves Hot Wheels in each of those little holes. And another Christmas related one. I'm thinking about Christmas because it just happened. So Christmas is on my mind. I want to make three stockings for us here at the house that kind of match. Because I do have two stockings from the fairs previously, but they don't really match. They're the same pattern, but different color schemes. So I want to make three that are 
more towards us, you know, and I'll probably end up making Mary Smith patterns because she's got a ton of really cute uh, stockings. But again, they're paid for patterns, so I'll have to wait till later this year to even think about starting those because I want to um, do the whole financial stuff here at the house first. Uh, another goal is to, I'd like to enter more fair projects this year than I did last year. Last year I entered 22. This year I have 40 something lots picked out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to reach that goal, but I'm going to strive to it. You know, that's the whole point of a goal is to try to get to it. And um, I've got the list here on my computer of all the, ooh, I just took the camera, of all the um, lots that I want to enter. So I'll start making stuff soon and see what happens. There are two blankets I want to make this year for two people in my family. I can't really mention them or the blankets because I don't know. But um, one of them I've been meaning to make for ever, like five plus years. And one of them... The last year, I think they sent it to me and, and said it's a cool. So uh, I want to make it for them. <laughs> um, one of my major goals this year is the yarn band, like I said, and to use stash yarn. Uh, I'll have a ton of solid color stashes because I use, I make amigurumis a lot, so I need solid colors to make all the little bits and bobs. And then over here, I have a bunch of random yarns, and way over here in the bookshelf, I have some cotton and stuff. I want to use up some of the random yarn, like the majority of it. And the cotton because I don't use cotton much at all so I'll probably just make a bunch of rags for myself and um, scrubbies for my dishes and stuff and then not buy any more <clears throat> I also have a bunch of thread over here that I bought on clearance and I probably won't ever use that maybe I might actually just keep a couple and donate the rest or something because uh, I probably never will make anything with it except Christmas ornaments for the fair <laughs> but um, I want to use up a lot of the stuff that I'm not haven't been using that's just been sitting around so that I can buy better yarn and more of it later this year after my yarn band's over. And my yarn band rules are I'm not allowed to buy any yarn unless it's for a commission. Um, and I'm not allowed to buy any other, you know, like cr crochet hooks or just stuff to make my own project bags with, but I'll still be buying stuff to make bags to sell. <clears throat> And, you know, I just don't want to buy any craft supplies until we meet our financial goals here at the house. We're, we've got a lot of savings goals here, me and Devin do, so we're wanting to hit those this year. We've started a lot of sinking funds and stuff like that because we want to be more prepared for, like, Christmas and stuff this year than we were last year. Because <laughs> even though Christmas comes every year on the same date, it always seems to surprise us. <laughs> so uh, we're definitely preparing for it more this year. And uh, in order to achieve those goals, I've got to make more bags to sell, uh, put out more videos to earn a little bit more money on the side. We've got to quit spending frivolous money, which is, you know, me buying random yarns that have been sitting over there forever. For instance, this red stuff. I wanted to make a blanket out of it, but I hate working with the yarn. That's probably going to go in the donate pile. But, um, and just, you know, random stuff that I don't need to buy. I don't need it. <laughs> So yeah, that's my band. It's, more, it's I call it a yarn band, but it's more like an everything craft related band plus random house stuff band. It's just a no spend here for right now. Not a no spend, a low spend here. Anyways, enough of that. <laughs> um, I want to host a cow, which I'm actually going to be hosting a cow, co-hosting a cow starting January the 6th, which probably will already be announced by the time you see this video. Um, and I might host another one towards the later part of the year. I don't know. I just have to wait and see how our goals go. <laughs> another goal that I found from Anna, from uh, Adventures with Anna, uh, that I liked. I love the way she worded it, and I want to do the exact same thing. And her goal was to enjoy what you make. And it means basically not to feel obligated to make something, unless, you know, it's a commission. <laughs> but, you know, I'll... I'm only going to, even when it comes to commissions, I'm only going to accept commissions for things that I actually want to make. I don't want to make something that is going to make me <clears throat> resent it the whole time or hate doing it and not want to do it. Because um, even if I'm getting paid for it, it's not worth it if I'm not enjoying it at all. Because I'm still, you know, I'm using a lot of my time to make something. I want to at least enjoy it a little bit, enjoy the process. And especially when it comes to gifts for other people and for myself or my house or whatever, I'm not going to waste time making something just because it's popular or because it's part of a crochet along or something. I'm just going to want to just make things that I want to make, you know. I'm only going to be able to make stuff for so long, you know. I don't want to spend all my time making stuff that I don't really want to make or that makes me angry or annoyed or something when I could spend it making something fun.
And I do have some goals here for the channel. One is I want to for sure put out a video every single week. One video. That will be the No Kitchen Name episode. And of course there will be more littered in here and there. Um, I want to bring back crochet and chats. And I want to do tutorials. Uh, Ravelry tutorials. I'm not into doing crochet tutorials yet. I gotta learn a lot more and have a better setup. Uh, I want to do more vlogs. And more yarny type vlogs you know shop with me and stuff when I get off my band and I want to participate in more vlog months like you know vlogtober and all that and then I have two more goals for the channel and you know not not just channel but the whole no kitchen name thing one is this year I want to hit I want to try to hit 3,000 subscribers here on the channel which I think is totally possible and on the Facebook group I'd like to hit a thousand members we're at 800 and something right now actually reminds me I forgot to do an 800 giveaway. I'm going to have to do that soon. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all of my goals. I think that's it. Uh, I got another goal jotted down here at 2,500 subscribers. I'm going to do a giveaway. I don't know if that's a goal, but that's all in there. <laughs> I'm at 23-something right now. So that's getting pretty close. I think that is all of my goals. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I babbled a lot about that, but most of our goals this year focus, our family goals focus around finances which I think is the same for everybody because um, money is a huge part of life but uh, we noticed last year you know throughout last year that we wasted a lot of money on stupid things uh, frivolous spending and random road trips that we didn't need to take and especially eating out oh my god we ate so much last night I had to go through not last night <laughs> last year I had to go through all of our debit card purchases from last year for my taxes for Etsy and YouTube one at a time and the amount of times we ate out and the amount of times we shopped at Walmart was crazy so um that was eye-opening for me that I want to cut back on eating out like we've made it we made a new rule we sat down and talked about it on January 1st um that we're not going to eat out at all unless it's uh we're on a trip a pre-planned trip not a random spontaneous one we're asked out by people because we don't want to be rude and be like no we're not going to go out to eat with you <laughs> or it's special like you know our anniversary and stuff and we might pre-plan for special dates the three of us to go out together to eat but we can do stuff like that when we go on our trips because we do always go to the aquarium and zoo but that's for fun family memories and stuff so we're not going to stop doing that we're still going to budget ahead for stuff like that but um <clears throat> another thing is i got to get the grocery budget under wraps because it's been frivolous uh, my spending is worse than Devin's because Devin, he has hobbies too, but his are more expensive hobbies, so he can't just go out and buy like brand new guitars and stuff. But my hobby has relatively cheap supplies, so I can go out and just buy a bunch of yarn. But um, we're trying to get some of that under control. We've gotten rid of all the unnecessarily subscriptions. You know, Hulu we got rid of because we have Netflix and we also have YouTube. You know, I'm on YouTube when I'm watching TV. 99% of the time it's YouTube <laughs> every now and then I'll venture into to Netflix to watch um, like forensic files or something like that because I love those cop shows but um, mostly me and Jesse watch YouTube or DVDs Jesse has some DVDs that he watches and Devin doesn't really watch TV at all if he's home and off of work he's playing games or playing guitar or something but um, I'm trying to think of other gas is another thing that I've, I've found out from looking at our <laughs> our history that we wasted a lot of going like we live in a little town so our town next to us is about 20 minute drive it's the bigger town it's got more stores and stuff so we we go there a lot and some weekends we would go there three or four times over the weekend and it's like why did we make so many trips wasting all that gas to the town next to us when we could have done all the same stuff in one trip so i'm trying to get more i'm just trying to rein in our spending and stuff so that we can focus on our goals because our our major main goal is to get a house in 2020 and to be able to do that we got to have all these other things dealt with before then so we're working on that this year that was a total total derailment that has nothing to do with yarn and if you already cut out i'm sorry <laughs> you don't know that because you already left anyways now that i'm done blabbing about our finances <laughs> um i want to quit talking about it and then i also have some health goals if y'all are interested if you're still hanging out and listening to me i know i've got some loyal watchers out there like i can guarantee cindy's still watching me hi cindy kenny <laughs> but um anyways <clears throat> a lot of y'all said you like when we babble so i'm just gonna keep on babbling if you don't like it you had already left so it doesn't matter but um my health goals 
I'm only saying this because I do have a health slash yarn related Facebook group. So it is related to No Catchy Name. And it's called Stitch and Fit. I will link it below if you're interested in joining, but it's kind of dead right now. I do want to get back into that. And I was doing so good before Christmas. And then Christmas came and we were so busy going here and there. And then we got sick. And then I just went and I just stopped. And um, I want to pick that back up. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not like huge. I want to be skinny or nothing like that. My main goal is I want to be fit, like healthier. I want to be able to play with Jesse and all that and not, you know, die of a heart attack. And I really want to have clothes that fit me better. I'm not like a girly girl. I don't wear makeup. I don't fix my hair. This is like the extent of fixing my hair. Um, but I want to feel comfortable in my clothes, you know, and I don't want to like catch a glimpse of myself in a mirror or a window. I'm like, oh, so I want to, I guess I would want to lose weight. You know, obviously that's a goal. Everybody wants to lose weight who's overweight, <laughs> but that's not my main goal. That's my main goal is to get healthier and fitter because I'm tired of, you know, like I said earlier, we go on a lot of trips and when we go on a lot of trips, there's a lot of walking and stuff. And when you're out of shape, it's hard and you get winded and it's like, man, I can't believe this is so hard on me. You know, I should be able to do this. So, and I'm, I'm young. I'm only 29, 28. <laughs> I'll be 29 this year. Um, and I just, you know, I want to be healthier and I want to make sure I raise Jesse healthier because he deserves it. You know, I don't want to raise him unhealthy and then him struggle when he's a teenager and a young adult with uh, weight issues and self-confidence issues because he's already going to have enough to worry about, you know. He doesn't need weight to be on top of that. <laughs> so, yeah. And my other health goals would be I want us to eat better. I'm so worried about fresh things, though. <laughs> I don't know if this is stupid, but there have been so many lettuce and stuff like that recalls that I'm, I'm scared to buy it. Because I'm scared to feed something to Jesse that could potentially kill him. And, you know, salmonella is killing adults. So, it would definitely kill a kid if we didn't catch it in time. And we live in Podunk. So, there's like, you know, it takes a good 30 minutes to get to a hospital. It's worth going to here. So, um, it's scary. I want to try to do like a garden on our back porch this year. And I was, I was looking it up the other day when we would need to start the seeds. And a lot of them need to be started for our area and climate and all that in March and April uh, for lettuce and stuff but I don't know anything about canning or freezing and stuff so I don't know like if I grew a bunch of lettuce we'd have to eat it right away and then after we ate it it'd be gone so like what do you do the rest of the time <laughs> I don't know if that's stupid I didn't I grew up on farms but not plant farms I grew up on cow farms so I know a lot about cattle I just don't know anything about gardening <laughs> and um, I want to learn how to can but I'm kind of scared of it because of the whole pressure cooker thing but, uh, you know, it's just like anything. If you learn it, you learn it. This is really long and me babbling. I need to get off here. This isn't a chat video. I need to start making chat videos. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. And um, I'm going to be talking about all this while I'm crocheting. I'm wasting time. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close this because I'm just babbling now. Big time. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.